Ladies, gentlemen, demons, cavemen of all ages. What a wonderful day it was today. You're probably seeing this video tomorrow, but hey, what is time on YouTube? Welcome back with another video with Linksy. Today we're gonna have a chat, a chitty chatty chat about the trailer we're seeing right now. There's a lot to unpack from the Skulls for the Skull Thrones event. But one thing I could say is that is a lot of video games that have been showcased, a lot of cool stuff. But I think the highlights were, of course, Total War Warhammer trailers. We got a trailer teaser for a DLC, which you should be able to find on my channel later on after this video has been published. And we got the Korn trailer for Warhammer 3. Conquer your demons, but in this case, become your demons, more like it. There's a lot to unpack in this uh, video. So it's a minute long, but there's so much. So I think there are a number of units that are showcased. For example, uh, Coronate Specific, uh, Chaos Spawn. Uh, of course, the Corn Cannons are just bloody amazing looking. They're just fantastic. The Bloodthirster Lord. But this unit over here looks like an exalted... Uh, lord or hero type uh, blood letter that's going to be really cool to see we can see the various units on the battlefield chaos marauders uh with berserker stance uh, sorry chaos warriors with berserkers like chaos marauders this guy looks like it's going to be a hero or a lord um the wolves over there in the background we can see the uh, chaos spawn which looks very cornet very red and fire of course all of the uh, Kill animations are just sick. The poor Kislevite over there. Of course, we have the uh, armored cavalry there. I keep forgetting what they are called, but blood letters on the giant demon riding through the battlefield in heavy armor. Come on, guys. Come on. It's pretty sick. The, of course, corn trailer is out. In the next few days, we're going to be getting lots of small updates about corn. But what's really really interesting to me is the little whisper at the end i await in darkness i still don't understand it fully um i don't know even if it says that it's what i kind of understood initially i was thinking it was something i uh, am better uh than corn but i don't think i understood that i think it's i wait in darkness tell me if i am wrong in the comments down below also this is a chance for to do a plug please subscribe to the channel it's free of charge and if you are really 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 cool and you like cinch instead of corn you're also gonna click the real subscribe button which is the bell and you'll get to have access to my videos as soon as they're out that's it it's nice to see the love being thrown in, uh, the, of course, into Coronate Army. I just noticed there was a uh, warrior, a Coronate warrior, holding a lance uh, on top of one of the demons. So there are possibly different cavalry types in the com in the battles as well for Korn, the Korn's roster. But with that said, I think it's just going to be a very exciting few weeks. We are, of course, getting the DLC for Warhammer 2, and we're potentially coming very close to the um, pre-order faction for Warhammer 3, which could be a number of things, of course. A lot of people assumed that it's going to be the Chaos Dwarves, because they thought we're going to get the uh, Dwarves uh, versus the Beastmen. One of them is myself, by a lot of people, it was just myself talking to myself, but, and big but, it's very interesting what has come. Ladies and gentlemen, this has been Linksy, thank you for watching, I know my new outro is very weird, you'll get used to it, subscribe. Bye bye, take care, farewell.